Okie dokie. Minor Lords is released into early access. Custom underscore. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Custom underscore code dot PNG. I'll be right back. As I have a thing. do there. <laughs> Manor Lords, right. Save Dana. Do we go into saved games? Saved games. And pop that in there. Crazy, you can't see what I'm doing. Custom underscore Oops. I'll do. Aha, can I edit that? You build like entire armies? Yeah, you can build squads kind of. Um, is the way it kind of works. Oh, it's gonna, okay. An older form action combine two coat of arms into one by cutting them in the middle. Half dog, half horse, why not? Ah, it's a shame I can't do anything with that. Okay. Well, we're going to have a messed up coat of arms. That's fine. Conrad. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you know what? We're going to leave him called Conrad. We're going to go restoring the peace. We'll go with the default. Okay. Yeah, you can build armies, but it's mainly a uh, city builder. City management and stuff like that. Load it all in already. Homeless people's tents. If they have tents, they ain't homeless. That's what some people say. Already. Build, your, build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claim towards regions owned by your opponents. Once claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. So he's starting with those two regions. What have we got in our region? Berries, stone, clay, which is rich. Okay. Is it that a, isn't it that a rich deposit doesn't deplete? I believe. 
of manor lords, um, families need food and fuel. Are we paused? No, we're not. There's a stone. There's our guys. Some supplies. And roof over their heads. Okay, yeah, got it. Supplies in the region panel to show how much we've got left. Four. Number of months before supplies run out. Okay. Now I've got to remember how to play the that. Uh, we're gonna. Okay. The marketplaces allow villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart off road is extremely slow, so make sure to connect your buildings to roads. Yes. So we've got a wild animals over there. Got an iron deposit. Got a clay deposit. Stone deposit. Radio. Can't be having straight roads. Right, so we'll do this. Um, right, what have we got? We are paused, so we're good. Every region of Manor has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider trading, setting up trade early. Uh, that is a thing, yeah. What are we going to be doing first, though, with farming? Wheat, flax, and barley. What is emmer? I don't know what emmer is. That's fine. Get for all that good stuff. We'll be getting a logging camp anyway, like one of the first things we do. We're gonna have them work over here, but let's uh before we do that. So fertility is terrible there for Emmer. Flax is terrible over here. A little bit of fertility over there. That's not in our region, which is uh, unfortunate. A little bit of barley and rye. Ooh, good rye over there. Okay, so rye and flax can be over in that area. Barley, we're not going to get much out of it. Hey, Maki. So we can have our, our farming area is going to be over here. That's basically what we know, because the forests here are not going to have good fertility anyway. So farming over there. It's like all our resources are right here. So our town is kind of probably in uh, the hunting, of course. That's a rich deposit as well, which is good. But farming resources. Our town is going to grow over here, right? Off the main road. One thing I'm going to do right now is do a connecting road there. Otherwise, I'll forget what I'm going to do. So we'll place this down right here. Let's get to work. Yeah, and then we're going to want to start setting up houses. And a well. I think housing is going to be down here. For now. We don't have enough wood to make that many. Okay, so we're going to come back here. bit further. That will do. We'll have three plots with three extensions.
and then we'll set up a well as well in the area. A well as well. Uh, but we'll get started. Get to feckin' work, lads. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Excellent, because everyone's unassigned. So the logs will get transported along this road. And uh, that is high priority so that we can get more logs. Simple as. Oh yeah, marketplace is going to be a thing. Flexible plots. How's the down music? Not too bad. Kind of loud in my ears, but hopefully it's not too bad. Um, some buildings have flexible plots. Yep, yeah, we kind of know about that. And then you'll have extension upgrades. Very important. The extension upgrades are very important. Just because of the way society ran back then. Like, we're going to do... Available market stall is 21. I don't think I need it that big then at the moment. Supply and demand. Although by the looks of that. <laughs> uh, assigned family set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space in the market. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Merger plots closer to the market. Get their market requirements fulfilled first. And the thing here is... We're going to build around the market. Hopefully get rid of that tree that's in the middle of the road. There's a bunch of homelessness. That's fine. First log is being brought in. They're doing the groundwork. to build a granary uh, logistics here we want a granary to store our food and then a storehouse to store our stuff okay so that's between regions and then a kitchen post fine timber requires oxen to be moved villagers must automatically get the ox when they need it does yeah that roof look straight to you or does it have a certain so, at the moment, our hitching post is out here. We can move it. And it is free. So, this is the thing, right? I have a bunch of um, logs here. So, at the moment, the hitching post being there makes no difference. But once that's cleared out, I'm going to want to move it down around here. And then we'll have, like, storage... Probably in this area. We'll probably do a little, another little like. Nope, that's too straight. Hold on. Do another little road there. It's gonna be a little while before we get the houses up and running. I don't want to set up a farm yet. A couple of months. The, the logo. Doing okay there. This is how you can go in and walk around. Summer's coming soon, and soon the beating sun. Now I just feel like I'm playing Bell Right. Firewood, some stones, and some bread. Okay. Anyway. Summer's coming soon. Right, that's gonna finish the lumber camp.
everyone's just chilling out. So the work boys and girls. Summer's coming soon. Soon. I've heard of your name. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal. Hit the bolt on that guy. It's not right back straight away, but that's um, it's Becker here. He's a rich stone deposit. Oh, not mean to zoom in that far. I love the little map uh, updates. Oh, is that the underwater? I'm an idiot, aren't I? I built the well. I put down the well, but I didn't look at the underground water. It was over there. Oh no, I haven't put down the well yet. Never mind. Okay. Which is fine. I'll put the well there. Get a family assigned to that. So human workforce has to be assigned by default. Livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. Or you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out that so that you don't. For that you have unassigned access. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. I struggled with that one. Use storage for 28 logs. Okay. So we have five left to bring over. Starting on the houses. Good, good, good. And uh, we want to get our stuff in as soon as possible. Fresh I did put on the day-night cycle. Excellent. Family members join one of the settlers. Sweet. Homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building and um, check their residential requirements. So yeah, they need water. They're going to need it access to church then we're going to be putting up the um uh, how much money have i got 50 25 for the chicken coop i might go with the chicken coop although the veg would be all right as well Do a veg plot and a chicken coop. Get passive income out of um, food. But the thing is now that the ox has to go gather the logs that they cut down. Yeah, which is not ideal. As I kind of want them gathering these. But I guess we can move them whenever, and if she's gathering logs from there, she doesn't have to go all the way over there to build the houses. Um, right, so the well then is going to need to be over here. Uh, 
And then after that, we're going to need stone for the granary and stone, uh, and just wood for the storehouse. So what, what is that icon? Road connection point. Okay. I put the storehouse. Put the storehouse there. No, I'm gonna put it just over here a little bit. And then once we get a bit more timber, we'll do the granary. Want to have the granary kind of between the farms, which are gonna be up there. And then the market and so on is gonna be down here. Margaret. Working all night. Details. Love the details. Continuously getting logs, then we can put down more plots. Okay, so we'll wait a little bit for that. Doesn't matter about putting down more plots if they haven't built the other houses already. Mercenary companies available. I haven't touched any of that. We're gonna create new units for the army. We don't have access to the manor yet. That's fine. We're not gonna be growing just yet. Livestock trading post and a standard trading post. I'm probably gonna put the trading post next to the storehouse and the granary in this little loop. We're going to have Bloomery, Smithy, Clay Furnace. So, with that, we need to get a forager set up. That's what we need to do straight away. The hunting camp, forager hut is going to be one. They're going to be going over there, up up here. Lovely. Get one person on the storehouse. And we have 35. We're not going to have any income, right? Just go veg again. All right, I'm gonna go with the chicken coop. We're only gonna have 10 left, so we're not gonna have enough money to put in the plot on this house. That's fine. Those stocks are getting soaked. We're down to two months. Food.
but that has to be high priority. Or anything else. Get those logs in there. Good, good, good. And they'll bring over the stone. We'll get that built. Constructed a firewood stall. Beautiful. Don't be working there. Okay. Now. Getting all the supplies in. I do need the forager's hut to be the kind of top priority. We'll get someone working on that. Then uh, we'll get some more forager's plots. Nine logs. Okay. do for now. So we have three families assigned to our doing their own thing. Okay. We'll get someone set up on the forager's hut real quick. Apparently in April, so we're not too bad. Could be able to stock up on berries. And um, getting a basket and gathering berries, lovely. Unlimited work here, yeah, perfect. Do your thing. Upgrade it to a working camp. I don't know about that. Don't know about that. But once we get these houses done, we can look into I think starting the farms straight away. It's already April. Already April, so I don't think we're going to be getting much in the way of <coughs> farming done this year. We're going to want firewood. Get that ready before the winter. Down a hunting camp, no construction cost as well, which is always nice. So pop that over there. Remove this hitching post over there. where the day night cycle represents a month so you have water access but we will get a church built probably actually here 
Maybe just next to the market here. Yeah, we'll need to get planks for that. That's right. Just on that a little later. allow us extra population. Alright, we're going up in food. Let's play there. Um, fuel consumption winter is double. Okay. Fine, we're gathering berries. Good, good, good. Get the basics done. Another house done. One homeless group left. So even though you might only have one family assigned to a thing, you might have multiple people. Three of each usually at the moment then. Yeah. Fine. Right, so we have a food stall and a firewood stall. Lovely. Bringing a cart along the road. All good, the ox is doing its thing. Right. Need to get the houses built. Not gonna assign anyone to the hunting camp just yet. I think I'll assign that actually and then careful with that beam there we cut as large as ready uh, we're not gonna send anyone to that yet because we don't have anyone spare I want to get the building done Better than me. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. heavier than it looks. No, maybe we put the church here. Yeah, I might put the church up here. Actually, the woodcutter's camp is going to move eventually when we expand out. 
We we'll have the church up at the top of the hill. Don't forget to brace the frame of the door. We don't want it to sag. Oh. Nice work. Get these houses finished. We have one group working um, on construction at the moment. But yeah. Doing what they can. Settlement level increase. To get more population, you need to have enough empty Burgess plots uh, and approval of 50%. Gotcha. Our approval is currently 48, but it'll be going up very soon. Strong militia is primary to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived and will now be able to create your first people, the first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, you need more weapons to equip all the people at the settlement grows either by making them or importing them from other lands. We got large shields and spears. Oh yeah, right. After you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted development points spent. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policy, you need to rise your administration level by building administrative buildings like the manor. Sustain up to two apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yields. Double capacity of all berry deposits. Ooh. Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest, which gives a passive income of meat. Ooh. Permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood. As long as the region has enough regional wealth. Oh, okay. Region does not pay the transport fee. Must be placed. Marketplace. Oh, that's right. I'm going to need income to do a beckon trader, aren't I? Uh, I'm thinking of doing trapping. And then they also do that from the traps. They also get hides from the traps. That goes nowhere. And we can get wax and that's locked. Three years to grow the orchard. Sheep's grazing in the pasture slowly multiply. That would be good for farming, all right. Okay, so you can use the fallow field as a pasture. The animals crap all over it and you get extra fertility back. You get a bakery, get irrigation. 
and we can unlock Rai there. I'm, hmm, I'm gonna go with this. Oh, I want food. <laughs> All I want, I just want food. That's the woodcutter's lodge. Already. Okay, so that has all the logs it needs, that has all the logs it needs. We'll actually be good on construction here in a minute to go off and do other things. Go. Need another family to move in. I need to increase morale. I need planks for the church. Set out the farm. Um out of pasture as well. Uh, for the pasture, we're not going to need too much. So we do the wheat farm, do the mill, the communal oven. It's all done, so we're going to need to do um, this saw pit. Get 20 planks, we need to build a church. Resources stolen by nearby bandits already, really? Cool, I guess. Cool. Oh, two months of fuel. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, no unassigned families to guide the ox. You have a storage of six. Running out of fuel, yep. We're just focused on that. I think at this point, take people off the hunting lodge. storage of eight at the moment. I mean, general storage is full, okay. Oh, yeah, that, that's fine. So we'll get planks building. Get firewood being made as well. We have 51 as well, so we're good. 
We should actually get an extra family, hopefully. It's going to keep popping up. Gotcha. So we have 10 months of food and 4 months of fuel, so if we can keep the fuel going there, that'll be great. We've got 15 planks already. We're close to being able to build the church. Yeah, because we still have 10 stone as well. I guess before we do that, let's... Um, Not that anyone wants to live here yet. That's more housing. I guess they've cleared out a bunch of logs that just had to be transported over. That log count seems to be going up. Are back up to full. Wait. So here's the thing, right? Policy. We have no policies that we can assign. Second family. There we go. Alright, what the hell do we want them doing? Do -do -do, do -do -do. Please join them, lovely. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. It's very chill at the start, anyway. <laughs> Let's preface that at the start, anyway. Um, I am going to lay out a farm. Plotting the fields. Fields in Manor Lords need to be very large to be effective. It will also take a long time to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field of about one Morgan. Later, if you want a region to focus on farming, you can consider spending a development point to unlock the heavy plow, which we probably will. It will allow plowing much bigger fields far more effectively utilizing oxen. Also, we're check the ground fertility. Yeah. We're going... I suppose Emmer is wheat, right? Am I right in that? It must be, right? I'm thinking of, like, doing uh, it. Saying one. Farming. Farmhouses employ families who work in the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance to the field set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility. Gotcha. The field. Place the farmers like over 
here. So, we should have actually got enough to do for that, and then we can go in and do the church. We don't have enough logs now. Fine. Eight hides stolen by local bandits. They're not on the map yet, so that's a random thing, right? So this area will be developed into something else once the woods are gone. And the farmland is going to be up here. Disease. Oh, fantastic. Theme notification. Get out of the corner of my screen. I can't pause the game. Um, people suffering from disease might stop working. Access to herbs might speed up the recovery while a varied diet increases uh, disease resistance. Hans is sick. So we're going to do operate. We're going to do wheat. get that done anyway regardless we get another family that'd be sweet farmer's construction is finished there we go church will be just there Sighted. That's a fair few bandits. They only have a population of eighteen. Twelve men, six women. Mercenary company available, that's fine. New family has moved in, that's what we want. Farming cycles, if the field is not set to fallow, workers will plow and sow the crop as soon as possible. Yield and increases growth, and its harvest is in September. Gotcha. Uh, like now. <laughs>
September, they shouldn't really be doing that. But sent them to do the building here for a minute. 12 months of food. Plenty of food. Berries is their main food. Okay. Oh, that's right. I have no one in the hunting lodge, so you can go back into the hunting lodge and get some more food. We'll keep that going. Six months of fuel, that's what we want. How are we doing on planks? There's another 30 planks, so I can take them off that. And how are the berries? The berries are like half. Another family has moved in. Excellent. Church is coming along nicely. So probably going to want a trading post to get some money. Because then I want to get the plots done here. Um, for the army. Where's my other mallet? So we can hire mercenaries. We have the green caps, which would arrive in our area. Two light infantry and archers. Light archers and heavy archers. That per month? Yeah, per month. Um, you created your first militia unit. We're going to need to have this set up just in case we get a hit. The male villages will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment, equipment and shields, depend on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the villager's residential level. So bring all the necessary equipment home, the unit's recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. Okay, cool. So we can ha we could rally up to 15 guys. If we needed to. Someone assigned to the church. We're not going to be upgrading that for a while. Yeah, I guess I'll assign someone to the farm. Don't need to do anything right now. We'll have them assigned. Nice. Like every now and then we'll get eggs and veg from the, the plots. We only have two plots, so we're going to want to do a trading post. And then we said this trading post is going to be here. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford a route. This is heavier than it looks. Uh, you're at 66. I could probably put another family into the forager hut instead of doing the farm. need anyone in the farm over the winter. Put another group in there. We're gonna stock up on food. Stock to you, that's fine. And I guess we'll put another group into the hunting. There, 
tearing through those animals though. Probably literally. Then we'll have the clay deposit up here. That being rich, we could do like the clay and Yeah, we could do the clay and um What's the production out of that? Tiles. Yeah, we could do tiles and then export them maybe. They need... okay. Current surplus is 30. Desired surplus is going to be... Average. Gonna cost two? That's pretty good. Oh, it's gonna cost seven. Oh, right, that, that's the price over here. Gotcha. That's gonna give us money. Which means put someone back in there. That guy's gonna pay for the plot upgrades to the houses, which is gonna give us more. Food income. We're going to focus on food there at the moment. You need clothing. And then we'll get the artisan workshops and stuff. We'll definitely be wanting later. Months of fuel. Population is rising. I don't have any construction going on at the moment, so I don't need any spare families. No one in the farmhouse. Plenty of timber. storage left for production. Ten hides. Can I export hides? Oh, I need someone in there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's do that. That. Cost forty eight. Oof. Hey, Steve. -o. How's it going? Square, some houses, perch up on the hill, and then the farms are going to be at the back. 
resources are over that way. Uh, we have 15 guys ready to form the militia if we get attacked. We're doing okay. Everyone is working because we need to prep. are going to be nothing until next year. Uh, no, that's going to be wheat. That's going to be fallow. Right. What was that? I really don't want my people um, getting screwed over. Okay, we're in November, so we should get through winter pretty well. We just need to keep production up a little bit. And food, we have over a year's supply of food. So we can actually kind of back on that. Another new family has moved in. Excellent. Yeah, we're going into winter, so the berries are not going to be available. Are they shrink? The animals stick around. I'm kind of glad of our surplus now. Oh, we also got 71 gold. Um, hello. <laughs> we'll get one goat shed. get two more veg gardens are they seasonal that we might worry chickens. The second firewood and food stall. Okay. Sure. Here comes the snow. We have a six month supply of fuel. I'm thinking there's a bunch of logs. I don't think I need to keep someone in that logging camp for a little while. You'll not find fireways anywhere else. Again, we're not building. be exporting a bunch of stuff every month. Workers can't find anything. I'm sure they can't. It's winter. So, berries are gone. Berries are gone.
Right, so we have an iron deposit there. We have a clay deposit here, which is rich. Um, I saw it mentioned that like a rich deposit can be upgraded to be unlimited. I'm not sure about that. Build up the mining pit. Um, we could upgrade that. Or put the granary. We need five stone for the granary, so we might do a stone cutters. Oh, a stone mine. doesn't need to be in range or anything. No, but we could pop it up here. It's gonna take a little while to uh, build. Very pretty game. What is the... start of our little village. Hopefully we'll be able to survive um, our first bandit attack. This is uh, Listuniak. Is that uh, Fort of the Ravens. 